Well, I think that we have an opportunity to reestablish the regional cooperation. It was going at one time to a certain extent. You had what was called the I-85 corridor, which extended from Atlanta to Montgomery. And we're pretty much in the middle of the I-85 corridor. And if you go from Hyundai all the way to Kia and then further to Atlanta, you see what that corridor represents. Um, we've talked about reestablishing that activity and that planning that was going on at one time because we had five to six exits on the I 85 corridor, much more than anyone else. So it's a big opportunity for us here in Tuskegee Macon County. Also, uh, we're in the river region. I've attended at least two or three meetings uh, recently that I was invited uh, to, to, to get involved in again that uh, covers the river region, which initially was. Montgomery, Elmore County, um, Lowndes County, Macon County, and I think it was Tallapoosa County. And for some reason, Macon County and Lowndes County were not always at the table. And it wasn't because they weren't including us, a lot of times we weren't there. So when you hear people talk of the River Region now, they generally will talk about three counties. They'll talk about the area where Prattville is, Elmore County. They'll talk about Montgomery County, and they may talk about um, Tallapoosa County. Well, we want to be re-included in the River Region. We're part of that region. So we Macon County now will be part of that region again in terms of an active participation. That's regional cooperation because there's a lot of activity that goes on in the region that we should be a part of or we could be a part of, especially from the tourism standpoint. I've also talked with uh, representatives and officials from other cities around us, um, other agencies around us, SCATS, the South Central Alabama Development Commission, which is your major entity that involves federal and state resources being distributed. It's been very supportive. I've gone to a two of the meetings with them, uh, another planning agency in Montgomery, a rural planning agency. So we're Getting involved in the regional activities, I think, is going to benefit us quite a bit. It's been very encouraging as I've gone to the state for just brief meetings, introductory meetings, and the response has been exceptional. Uh, they want to assist us here in Tuskegee. They make us aware of resources that are available and opportunities that are available to us. They're helping us with the projects on Exit 38 to develop the infrastructure. They've awarded some grants that will help us tremendously. So I think that we're in a good place in terms of working with uh, the state government and, uh, and federal government as well. So I, I think that we're in a good position right now. We have some challenges we want to address from ADM, which is the Alabama Department of Environmental Management, and EPA, Environmental Protection Agency at the federal level, that we'll be asking for assistance on as well. There again, that's an opportunity for the university and the city to work with state and federal agencies. Because when you address ADEM, an Environmental Protection Agency, that's some research that can be done by the university to help us solve challenges that we have at our landfill. So that, it works to the benefit of everyone in the community. And it will provide jobs as well. I know that Auburn uh, is open to working with us much more closely than people realize. A lot of people see it as competition. It's really not a serious competition with Auburn. It's a different type of institution. It operates at a different level. It's a state institution. It's a majority institution. We are an HBCU in a historic community. We're a small a rural community. So we have a lot of things that we can work together on, and we look forward to taking advantage of that.